Woodja, look at the time. It's time for another video. Good day to you, my fellow adventurers throughout time and space. It is I, the Cowardly Time Lord, who really should have gotten a video up yesterday, welcoming you back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Anyways, so yesterday was a horrible day for me. I went to work. Um, I work as a production assistant in the film industry. That's important. The actors were terrible. They were sitting on the homeowner's couch. One of them apparently spilt orange juice on it. Um, so we had to scramble to set up tents because they're not supposed to be sitting on the homeowner's couch. So we were all in a rush setting up tents. I actually caused me to have a sensory overload. I, I don't usually get those. But it does happen. I mean, I think most people with autism of some degree have moments of sub sensory overload. So, anyways, that's what happened. And then... When we, after we set up the tent, they said it was too cold, as it was negative degree weather, so we can understand, but also we have to stand out in that cold all day. Anyways, somebody started a rumor that I was sick with the you-know-what thing, and so I got had to get sent home. Well, at least I still got a full day's pay. So, I went out and bought Lego. Making my two-day total of spending money on Lego over $500. I am not the proudest of myself. It says, what is the meaning of green and red? Green and red are raised and look like they could be pushed. Do you want to push them? Push green. Anyways, I hope you didn't mind my little story time. I'll show, uh, don't worry, a Lego review video is coming up soon. So, yeah, that's something that's coming up soon. One of the sets won't be in the review, and also... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I bought most of the sets because of the fact that I'm a part of the Lego Amino and I want to make a Lego Amino comic. So, yeah, that's the plan. It says, it is a high place, but not here. Is and not a river, blah, blah, blah. Push not. Okay, now I believe I've hit all seven graves. So I'm gonna go get the ultimate treasure of this area. Almost done with this area. Treasure blah blah, yeah, yeah, seven, 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 seven words. Let's push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Yay! This treasure. You found a light bangle. I would consider this an A tier accessory. Um, there are two S tier accessories, in my opinion. Both of which I am going for. In fact, I am going for multiples of both. Um, the, the two S-tier accessories, in my opinion, are Ivory Charms and Spear.
spirit rings. Ivory charm is undoubtedly the best accessory, don't get me wrong. It's just, I have, I like my spirit rings. Spirit rings decrease MP usage by half. You can't tell me there isn't a game where that kind of accessory isn't one of the best. Um, while the Ivory Charm restores hit points every turn, resists all status ailments and elements in general by half, you know, it, it, it's... If you get, um, two ivory charms, you're immune to everything. I don't like that, though. That's cheating. Ryu became level 12. Yeah. Eight hit points for uh, one AP. Ooh, finally some moon. Though, um, eh. Yeah, the thing is, th not every character in this game is to be treated as equal. Nina's useless. <laughs> yeah. It's the thing about. The thing about Nina is that she's a black mage. Who doesn't gain spells very quickly? You know, I, I don't like squishy black mages. I don't. That's what Nina is. E in fact, yeah, my my party is in this game. I'm not gonna tell you who it, who they are. But, like, tell you their names, well, tell you who my main party is for the majority of the game. Well, Ryu, obviously, because you can't switch him out, he's main hero. Big, slow, strong guy. Yes, I like them big, slow, strong. Yeah. Um, and speedy, and the speedy character. Because speed is all important. There are lots of words carved into the stone. Remember the red words, not the green. The words are actually switches. What word do you want to push? Push red. You were right in climbing up. From here you fall. What word do you want to push? Climbing. I will show you the right path. What word do you want to push? Push I. You need not fear. The exit is there. Where do you want to push? Oh, I forget. Not. Ugh. Oh, I'll get back to that one. Where do you want to push? Is. That was it. Do not be lost. Look for the hidden trap. Look? Yes. Now what is beneath you will lead to you what is above. What word do you want to push? Beneath? Do not choose that one. This is what you seek. What do you want? Do you want to push them? Push this? Yeah. And now we're down here. Also, you can never go back to uh, the Windy and Catacombs for reasons. So, uh, make sure you got the Light Bangle, the Glass Domino, and the Panacea. For continuing on. Well, we made it. Now all we have to do is get far away before they find us. You're looking for someone in Windia? Wei and Tipo? I'm sorry, I've never heard of them. But I'll help you look for them. 
No, it's all right. As a member of the royal family, it's my job to help people in trouble. Let's go, Ryu. You're very naive, Princess Nina. Very, very naive. Like, the problem with Nina, Nina's main problem is a black mage, and this is actually a problem for all the characters in the game. They don't gain MP! Nobody gains MP at the rate that they should. The magic point stat is a major detriment to this game. Also, look but Oh, it's not this one. It's this one. Yes. Wisdom fruit. Now, do not eat, use, do not sell. Do not use, do not do anything with the wisdom fruit. We need it for later. Much later. MP in this game is weird. Um, yeah. We're almost in Windia City. Yes. This is the burial ground of the Windian royal family. You know, a cemetery. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Uh, yeah. So this is Windia. I love what this... We'll both save a lot of money if we share a room, right? Uh-huh. And next, you'll be saying we should share the bed. Right? Which brings up the thing that I find so funny. Since I rested in like the the prison bed with just Ryu and Nina, they had to sleep together. Just just pointing that fact out. There was only one prison bed available, so Yep. Yeah, I spend a lot of time running around chopping people for their piddly amounts of gold. They're zenny. Zenny! Mm, because apparently that's Capcom video game currency is zenny. For some reason. I don't usually go into Upper Windia right now. But uh, for the sake of the fact that you can get treasure up here right now. And if, I'll just say this. Uh, later, we do become adults in this game. No, I want to play with Grandpa. How about going to play with your friends instead of hanging around this old man? Um, yeah, uh, a lot of things like that actually change when, well, obviously when you become an adult. Um, the, uh, the old man is now worried because his gran granddaughter won't spend any time with him. Which really makes me hurt inside because I stopped hanging out with my grandfather and then he passed away a few years ago. As you know, that was a big part of why I started my YouTube channel. If you've been watching for any length of time, it's it's a whole thing. It, 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 yeah. I don't know what's up with my voice. <laughs> I'm sounding a bit raspy, aren't I? 
Maybe I do have this virus. The blue shadow virus. That's what I. That's what I keep on hearing every time I hear anyone talking about this virus without saying the name of it. I think of that episode of the Clone Wars. Uh. Anyways. Um. Yeah. Bird. And of course, like this. This woman says something interesting. When you look at them real close, pigeons are kind of scary. I mean, like the way their eyes are so vacant. Or, uh, someone in this in Upper Windia talks about how the Windians used to have wings. And yes, I did just chop chop a pigeon pigeon for two zenny. Don't ask. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's tons of free bread to find. Also, we got a moxa, which there's only one moxa in the game, so I would recommend not using it. It increases willpower. What does willpower do, you may ask? It raises chance of you reviving yourself. What does this guard say right now? This is the Castle Windia. Yeah, we can just walk by with the princess in tow, and no one even knows what she looks like. Hmm. No, yeah, Princess Nina is very sheltered in this game. She's never been outside of the castle in her life. Kind of thing. It's it's weird. It's stupid. This guy is involved with the story, but sadly, just talking to him doesn't do anything. First, we need to play a game of hide-and-seek. How much time have I been recording for? 17 minutes? Okay. Yeah, you can chop the doggy, the homeless man. Eh. There's no gift of charity in this game. defense does the glass domino provide? Six, yeah. You want to sell your iron helms because everyone can equip glass dominoes, but it thinks the iron helms are better because they've got the more weight. It's weird. I don't know how that works. So... We have... Don't we have one of those yet? We've got one of those... Now, you want to buy a Claymore. Don't equip it, just buy it. And then the mace. I always forget if you can buy a mace in the next town, and there's a big reason why I'm like being kind of careful with my money right now in the game. It's because uh, the next town is kind of weird. Um, because there's a way to decrease all the prices in the next town. And that's something you very much want. Oh, I do have something else I can sell. I don't want to lose all my money. Where is it? Gems.
You can buy all the, I, I know you can even buy better armor, I even think, in the next town. But the Claymore is definitely something you cannot buy. Toshiro's General Store, the only shop in the world that sells the Midas Stone. How much is it again? Yeah, no. 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 I never bother with the Midas Stone. I've never bothered with it once. Because, you, because it isn't too long before you get the ability to steal and that. Yeah. Yeah. And if you know which enemies to steal from, you can make a lot of money. Anyways. Looking for someone? Hmm, I know what that is. You're playing hide and seek, right? Okay, you're it. You have to try and find us. Ready. Let's go look for them. You're looking for Tipo, right, Ryu? And he's a kid too, right? So maybe these kids m will know something about him, right? Okay, that's fair enough logic. This is a very interesting type of shop, though. This is a shot shop. W what shots are is... Uh... Hi there, want a shot? Yeah, it's based on your level. And... Uh, it will go away as soon as you rest. There's only w one time in the game where I give that any amount of care. Ooh, five zenny. This is the first of the kids, by the way. <laughs> I didn't want to be found. Now I have to be a also, you meet the, these kids again when you're an adult and they've changed a little bit. That one there becomes super fat because he hid so close. It's supposed to be the thing. Anyways. I don't know. The rest of them, it's kind of hard to tell. I never thought anyone would find me here. Also, they all start wearing black leather and jeans. In the future. It's weird. Whoops. Ha 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 ha. You got me. I'm guessing that one is the one that hides between the two... Between the two worlds, as they call it. Um, that one would be the one who goes far away and hides in a town full of junk. It, 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 the, these things don't make sense to you at this point in the game. I'm just saying where you find them. And this guy, you find him up in the mines. Of Moria. No, the mines that we started the game in. He ends up there. It's weird. Oh, how'd you find me? Yeah, I found all of them. You found everyone? Wow, you're pretty good at this game. Thanks. Now maybe you can help us. We're looking for some friends of ours. Have you seen them? Hmm. Well, a little while ago, a robber broke into that house over there. And that robber was a kid about your size. And what happened to that kid? What happened? He got beat up by the owner of the house and took off. I think maybe he went down the road. What do you think, Ryu? Could it be Tipo? <clears throat> Thanks. We'll try looking there. Come on, Ryu. Yeah, so now you talk to this guy and he says... Ouch, ouch, ouch! Got beat up by a robber the other day. I did, but I taught him a thing or two before he got away. 
That robber sounded like some little good-for-nothing kid from the country. There are several things we can do right now. Let's just go up here. This place will become important later, but right now we need to get a vodka shot. Oh, oh, this is this version. Okay. Um, depending on which version of the game you are playing, this is items either called a vodka shot or a ginseng. A ginseng. You know, the root. That they put in tea. Nope, but it's straight up called a vodka shot in this version. Brilliant. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? These little kitty winks can be taking vodka shots. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, it's it's a in battle use item that increases power level. Once, of course. Anyways, now we go over here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Switch Nina into the lead. Go inside this house. Talk to this guy. Tarundal. The original Excalibur or something from French. The French Excalibur or something. I forget what it is. What do you want? Me? I don't know anything. Nope. Not a thing. I'm just a little guy in a little town. Actually, it's the biggest town in the game. If you really want, I suppose I can teach you some of the useless tricks I know. Do you want me to? Yes! Looks like you're serious, then. I don't have much to teach, but I'll give it my best shot. Very well, then. From this moment, I, Durandal, Make you, Nina, my apprentice. Is there anyone else who wants to apprentice with me? No. Until we meet again. Now, he's the easiest master of the game. You need to go up three levels underneath him. Each one he teaches you a different skill. I already learned one of them by mistake, really. Uh, the unmotivate? Yeah, it's useless. His other trick, his other two abilities are, um, practice swing, which always misses the target. It isn't like, no, it just always misses the, or does zero damage or something. It's, I think it might increase accuracy for the rest of the battle or something. Still a useless ability. Um, the third skill he teaches, though, is called Backhand. Which, while also equally useless, as it deals damage but can never be a killing blow, there it is valuable because one of the, one of the other masters of the game says... To be apprenticed under me, you must know how to defeat your enemy without killing it, as is the way of our god. Anyways, um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that is enough for today. Uh. So anyways, this looks like a decent place to end off for this episode some stuff's gonna go down pretty soon 
Anyways, I'll read this dialogue. I've never slept outside like this before in my life. It's kind of fun. But I suppose I shouldn't be enjoying myself until we find the others. Yeah. So yeah, this looks like a good place to end off for this episode. I'm sorry if you've heard noise outside. The the gardeners are doing their work on the complex. Blowing leaves. Kind of the wrong season to be blowing leaves now that I think about it. Anyways, that's what's going on. Um, so yeah, this looks like a good place to end off for this episode. This is The Cowardly Time Lord signing off. And saying, have a good day, or whatever time it is, wherever you are. Bye bye now.